That comment came from the investigating officer who said that the police had found unlicensed ammunition in a safe in Oscar Pistorius's house. That's why they might be bringing uh, additional charges. But there's sort of a, an overflowing of information coming out of this court. It's quite hard to keep up with the sort of riveting detail that's coming from uh, the state. I just want to read you uh, what they've said throughout the morning. They said that there have been other incidents, violent incidents, that they've noted in terms of Oscar Pistorius's behavior. They said there, a gun was discharged in a Johannesburg restaurant by Pistorius, but he asked someone else uh, to take responsibility for that. He said also Pistorius threatened to assault somebody at a racetrack. Uh, we're also hearing that they think he is a flight risk, which is why they are opposing bail. They say he has offshore bank accounts and a house in Italy, and that's why they say they want him to spend the next few months in jail behind bars until a trial date is set. Also, importantly, they've been talking about the angles, the way the trajectory of the bullet into the bathroom. They're poking holes in Oscar Pistorius's statement, essentially, and what he said, it was a burglar, he was surprised, and at the moment, what we understand, there is a picture up in the courtroom, and the police are sort of going via the plan, sort of explaining uh, what they think happened in a visual kind of way. Also, I think most significantly, which might, might just give us a clue to some sort of uh, motive, we're hearing, like you mentioned, that uh, the police say they found two boxes of testosterone and needles in Oscar Pistorius's house. Now, I had to quickly Google that before I came on air because I wasn't quite sure uh, exactly what this meant. Now, according to my quick Google, I can't uh, say that I'm a medical doctor, but testosterone can come in either a natural or a synthetic form, but both kinds are a form of anabolic steroid, a steroid obviously used to build up muscle mass. So the implications of that, well that might give some indication uh, to motive because we do know according to other reports that steroids can trigger some sort of violent reaction. It's called roid rage here in South Africa. Whether that's what happened, well, we'll hear as this case continues throughout the day. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will be very curious about that development. Um, basically, this bail hearing, Robin, boils down to whether prosecutors thought this was premeditated, uh, the arguments that this may have been some kind of self-defense on Pistorius's part. In terms of the body language, in terms of the picture in court, uh, where do you think the argument was moving? You know, it's so difficult, you know, these things go in ebbs and flow. You know, yesterday afternoon when Oscar Pistorius' statement was read out, there was, I think, a deep sense of, you know, sympathy for him. There was a sense they understood. And when you listened and you read that affidavit that he said he was scared, he was frightened, he thought there was a burglar, there was an intruder, and he sort of painted out his version of events and then very emotionally said that he had tried to carry down uh, Reva down the stairs to take her perhaps to hospital, but that she died in his arms you know I think there's a great deal of sympathy when that happens and but then you know it all switches very quickly when you start hearing the cold hard facts of the evidence against him that's put out by the state so you know I think it's very difficult to judge um, how this is going and whether or not he's going to get bail I mean this is up to the magistrate and in the end he's the he's the only one that's going to come up with that final decision